This was the best, I repeat, the best Marvel movie out of any of the Marvel movies I've seen. I'm sorry, but this beats Infinity War. This clearly beats Infinity War, but I don't know what to say. Because it's amazing. This movie, Endgame, like, it, there, I, there were laughs, there were good moments, there were sad moments, which I'm gonna get into. Hmm. As you can see, there's a, I told you about the spoiler warning, so I don't want you guys, if you've seen the movie, you can watch, you can stay and watch the video, but if you didn't, then, then go click on another video on this suggestion page, or, or here, or here, I, I don't know, but, anyway, let's start this spoiler talk. I can't believe they did it. They did it. They finally did it. They brought everyone back. They brought everyone back. Yeah. So, how did they do this? Well, as the movie starts, we find out... We find out... Get at this. I basically knew from the trailer that um, Hawkeye was... Hawkeye's kids were going to disappear. I basically knew that. Because they were going to... Uh, no, How is he going to be Ronin then? Makes sense. And moving forward, then moving forward, we find out we Tony is still in space after what happened on Thanos' homeworld Titan. I think it was I think it was called Titan. But anyway, after that, I don't know how long. I think it was twenty days they were up in space. Anyways, and since then Everything was way everything. Then Captain Marvel show up, showed up. Yeah, Captain. I repeat, <laughs> yes, Captain Marvel showed up. I thought Pepper was gonna don a suit and, you know, was gonna was gonna don a suit and just bring Tony back. But it turns out that Captain Marvel got. Oh, got them, got them back. I'm sorry for my off topic. Off topic. Anyway, anyway, still moving forward. Captain Rose just clearly well said to kill Thanos because Thanos deserves everything that's happening to him. Yes, he deserves everything that happens to him. So then they plan, and then, then a couple. Then a couple minutes later, they're up in space. They go to Thanos, only to find out that Thanos used the stones again. But this time, he didn't do it again. Well, here's what happened. He destroyed the Infinity Stones. He used his own power of the Infinity, of the Infinity Stones to destroy the Infinity Stones. That does not make any sense. I don't get it at all. So, um, why would you destroy your own power? And now everything's in balance. And there is no way to reverse it. There's no way to reverse everything. They cut off his arm. That, that was, that could have happened. And then they kill him. Well, technically Thor killed him. And then he said he aimed for the head. And now there's no way they can do this. There's no way they can undo the snap. And then, five years go by. Five years. Five years. Five years. I can't believe five years went by during, during all this. Anyway, during all this, we fi I finally figured it, found it out how Scott got out of the quantum realm. Okay, apparently he... Okay, look, here's what happened. Apparently he... Apparently a rat 
well, his, um, the van just happened to be in a storage, you know, those warehouses where they keep stuff? Yeah, he was, in, the van was in that. So, anyway, with that, okay, um, I'm gonna keep it quiet now because I don't, my, my dad and my brother, my dad and my brother are here, so, um, I need to keep it down because I don't, because they don't want any spoilers from me, so I'm just gonna have to keep it quiet as possible. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I have to. So, anyway, as I was saying, a rat somehow, like, turned on the machine. Well, you know how rats, like, move over all the things. And open the machine, and it released Scott. And then Scott finds that people that disappeared... They're like memorials. People build memorials for them. Like, wow. Oh. They did. And also... They, um... And then this theory... Alright, um... Then this theory with time travel and stuff. They think time travel is the way... I really... I, I thought they weren't gonna do that route. And then time travel works really weird. Time travel works weirdly in the Marvel Universe now. In the MCU right now. Like, really? Time travel? It, now, I'm, now I'm completely lost of how time travel works. Of how time travel works. Because, like, I don't know how... I don't get it at all now. I know time travel a lot, but... When, when, but when the movie, but when I saw it in the movie, it confuses me now. So anyway, moving on, they get the team back together and they all decide a plan. They decided instead of like going back in time and stop Thanos from ever getting the stones. Which would make more sense, but... Anyway, here, what I mean is, um, that they go back in time in each divis in each year, year, right? They try to get the Infinity Stones each separately. The, soul, the Hawkeye and Black Widow go for the Soul Stone, but one person needs to sacrifice themselves to do it. So that means, and, um... Spoilers, Black Widow ends up dying. So, yeah. She ends up dying. And, um, it's pretty, it's, it was pretty sad. I, th I thought, I thought Clint was going to do it. I thought, like, give something, something you love. I thought Clint had that, um, baseball, baseball glove. I thought it was, I thought it was something worth sacrificing for. Well, anyway. Moving, f moving forward, um, turns out there are some things that happened in the when the first Avengers movie came out. The ancient one was like stopping the attackers from attacking the um, stopping the attackers from getting to the um, house, the Sanctum Sanctorium in New York. And then she knows, and just out of nowhere, she knows knows what she knows what's going on, and she gives Bruce the um, time stone, and Hawkeye has the soil stone, by the way. And then later on, what happens next? Um, all right, we're in War Machine and Nebula go for the. Um, Power Stone, right, from Guardians of the Galaxy. The, but this, but then something bad happens. Apparently, <sighs> Nebula from the past is getting information about Nebula from the future. So that means Thanos knows. Yeah, and Thanos is still alive there. And um. Thanos knows everything about what happens in the future. 
that he succeeded and then died. Wow. And he did everything to prevent that from happening. By kidnapping future Nebula and um by kidnapping future Nebula and tricking the Avengers. Mm-hmm. Yep, pretty much. Uh, what else happened? Um Oh, Captain America and um America and Tony finally put aside their differences forgive each other too Tony even gave um, Steve his um, shield back and then he gave his shield back that's good moving forward they they get the cosmic cube and the scepter but the cosmic cube was it didn't go well so they did so they did something else they went back in time again just, well, Ant-Man has the scepter now, so he was going to go back, but but now, Tony and Cap decided, decided, decided to do this one trip together. What did they do? They, here's what they did. They went back in time, they went back in time where Captain America, after Captain America was frozen, he, well, I don't know. They went to a camp where they had the cosmic cube. Mm-hmm. And there were some heartfelt moments, like Rogers. Rogers saw Peggy from the past, and he teared up a bit. And and Tony met his father again, which was good. <laughs> yeah, heartbreaking. Then a few minutes later. Okay, and then after that, everyone's back. Everyone's back. We're finally back. So, how are they going to make? A, how are they going to do this? Well, Tony, with Tony, with his brilliant <laughs> check. Oh, right. There was the ether, which is the reality stone. Thor and Rocket. Yes, I said Rocket. Rocket. Thor and Rocket was grab grab the stone. Well extracted from Jane and used it to you know oh and Thor got his original hammer back too from the past still don't understand how that affects the future so I don't know time travel sucks <laughs> moving forward we um sorry anyway moving forward they build an Iron Man Infinity Gauntlet, <laughs> and 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 if anyone and get this, anyone so if then they keep saying like any if anyone uses the stones they they um they could it could be a life sentence like they could die. From using the stones. So, and get this. Here's what they do. They, um... What do they do? 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 do, do? Um... Hulk, which I forgot. Bruce and Hulk merged together, creating Professor Hulk, which is both strong as the Hulk and smart as Bruce Banner. I didn't know they were going to do that. But anyway, um, Professor Hulk uses, gets the, gets the Iron Man gauntlet and snaps his fingers and brings everybody back. Brings everybody back. Brings everybody back. Yep. Everyone, everyone's back and then after that, um, what happens after that? All oh, right, Thanos attacks. Yeah, Nebula from the past comes with the Avengers, and and brings Thanos and his army to to Earth. Well, to pre- present Earth, which things go really wrong. 
their home base is destroyed, literally destroyed. And and the and once that's once oh once they were done with the infinity stones, they had to put it bring put the stones back into the past. Which which I still don't I don't know. Anyway, a big fight breaks out with the Trinity of the Marvel Universe and Thanos. It was awesome. But what surprised me the most was when <laughs> was when um, Captain America lifted up Thor's hammer. Mjolnir. The hammer axe one is called Stormbreaker. But I didn't know Remember in Age of Ultron that that Mjolnir like budge when Captain America lifted it? It budged a little. <laughs> and Thor knew he was worthy. I did not know. That and and when he fought Thanos, I thought he was gonna say that's I thought Cap was gonna say that speech from the Infinity Gauntlet the comic book, which I still have. But then it goes downhill when he just, when Thanos, like, repeatedly breaks his shield, just like in the comics. Uh. And then I thought, and then Thanos' army was coming. Well, Thanos' army was coming, and he, things were really, really, like his army, the, what was it? What were they called? I don't know. Thanos' children, I think. Well, they were called something else. I don't remember. So, anyway. Wait. You got Thanos' children, the Shatari, those four-legged things from Infinity War, the Shatari from the Avengers movie, all of that. That's his whole army. Wow. This, this, is, a, this is... And Captain America just stands alone in it. That is until this happens. I was like, what? And then Black Panther, Okoye, and Shuri, they all come back. Just step out of a portal. And then Doctor Strange, and then Doctor Strange came back, and everyone that was, that disappeared from the staff came back. Oh, and Hawkeye's, fam Hawkeye's family came back too. Everyone's back. And then the best moment ever. <laughs> this was the best moment ever. It's an all-out war. An all-out war. An all-out war between the Avengers and every other hero in the Marvel Universe in the, M uh, in the MCU versus Thanos' army and Thanos himself. Everybody's at it. Everyone, everyone. There's banner. There's every. There's banter. There's everything. You. This was everything. I. <laughs> this was the best moment, man. And um. Moving forward, then Captain Marvel comes in, surprised with a haircut. I forgot she cut her hair. Um. And then she. And then she. This was amazing. This was really amazing. And. Moving forward, they, she, <laughs> my favorite part was when Thanos tried to head, headbutt Captain Marvel. They just, she just rubbed it off. You know how Superman did it? <laughs> like that. And then Thanos used the Power Stone to, like, hit her. There. Thanos was about to use it again. Oh, man. I was like, my heart was shaking. My whole entire body was shaking because... Because of how, of how Thanos was almost like close of getting the gauntlet and doing the whole thing over again, and and then and then the pus and then this and then this happened. Tony like sacrificed himself to save everybody from this experience again. So here's what happened. Tony, Tony looked at Doctor Strange, and Doctor Strange did this. 
because he's referring to there was there was, there that remember in Infinity War how he said that there were a lot of possibilities they could have won and they didn't. So and then he said there was one way. They lost a thousand times, but they won only one time, which there was one. So Tony gathered up his strength and fought Thanos head on again. And this time he grabbed the he grabbed the stones instead of the gauntlet. <laughs> nice. He grabbed the stones instead of the gauntlet. And put him on his own finger on his own Iron Man gauntlet. And then he said, I and I am Iron Man. And with that this was a big moment which I'm very happy about. Thanos' army, all of it, it's disappeared, wiped from existence. I said, I didn't say anything. I was, like, shocked. And then, like, that's what they get. That's what happens. Everyone wiped from existence. And then, finally, Thanos erased from existence, never appearing again. Oh, man. That was a lot to date, man. But sadly, we are at a loss. Tony Stark, the mo the one who offici the officially started the MCU, passes passes away because the stones were like too much for one person to have. That's what Thanos did, and now look what happened. Yeah, he. I was sad and I was crying too. And then everyone from the MCU was at his funeral and at his house. And then I found that that thing from the first Iron Man movie. Yeah. It was a proper send-off to a character. Oh, and I forgot. Stan Lee's cameo. <laughs> it was funny. And I guess that was the last cameo that Stan Lee was ever going to be in. Yeah. So, anyway, um, and then, then um, Captain America went and put the stones back to in their the realities, which worked. And get this, he came back only to be old, and then he passed the mantle to Sam Wilson, Falcon. So now we're going to call him Captain Falcon <laughs> from the comics. And to be honest, I didn't like um, Sam Wilson as Captain America. Uh, I don't know why. But in the MCU version, maybe there's an exception. Maybe. Maybe. So, anyway. And Thor? Well, about Thor, he has... he's let, He let himself go... He got fat, well, obese, and drinking nonstop beers. And it was a heartfelt moment when he went to the past with Rocket and met his mother for one last time. Uh -huh. And he grew a Viking beard or something. <laughs> and, man, man. Then, just, he went with the Guardians of the Galaxy and he was going to travel the stars with the Guardians of the Galaxy then. Amazing. Also, um... I don't know how lightning works in space, but I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, still popcorn stuck in my teeth. Anyway, in the end we see Captain America and Peggy be dancing. They finally got their dance. <laughs> Oh, and the best moment was when Captain Marvel was teaming up with all the women heroes of the MCU. It was, it was cool. It was really cool. Seeing all the women, like, team up. Yeah. Oh, and Pepper. Pepper had a suit, too. That was cool, too. <laughs> that surprised me. 
this really surprised me. And Tony had a daughter. Man. And seeing that moment when Tony passed and everyone react, everyone's reaction, that was really deep and I was almost cried. I don't think there's any much to talk about now, so we'll, we'll see where the MCU leads off now. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Before we go, I want to give this video a, I want to give this movie a 10 out of 10. So, yeah, it was that good. Go see it if you. I'd rather I go see it again. I really want to see it again. Well, that moment first. <sighs> I don't know what's gonna happen. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video. If you want to get notified of all the videos I put up on my channel, go hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video.